Thank you, Fiona. Now, Luther's hymn, A Mighty Fortress is Our God, is based on Psalm 46, which starts, God is our refuge and strength. And in verse 7, and again in verse 11, it says, The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Luther wrote the hymn in 1528, about seven years after he was hiding out in the Wartburg Castle because he'd been declared an outlaw and heretic at the Diet of Worms. Now there he experienced the safety and protection a castle offers at first hand and while hiding he translated the New Testament into German which provided him with new glimpses of who God is and how we can approach him. Today's topic is Jesus the Gate and in today's Bible passage the Gospel writer John likens Jesus to a gate although a gate into a sheep pen. Now the psalmist and Luther compared God to a fortress. Wartburg Castle sits on top of a mountain and the sheer cliffs are part of its protection and defence. Wartburg Castle also has just one small narrow gate that allows us to enter. If a castle isn't sitting on a mountain, then often they have a sort of water-filled moat as a last defence and it is very difficult to pass without a drawbridge. Now a drawbridge is a way and a gate in one and both of these images Jesus uses to describe himself. And Jesus is a drawbridge. He bridges the chasm that exists between us and God. As sacrificial lamb, through his death on the cross, Jesus provides us with the bridge. By, with, by doing so, he opened the gate. Jesus is the drawbridge that allows us access to the castle that is our God. Now, let us approach this mighty fortress in prayer. Um, and I will again use my Psalm 23 necklace to structure my prayer. Let's pray. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. Lord, by your grace, help us to experience this truth, that with you we have everything we need. Help us to appreciate what we have and set us free from material desires. He makes me lie down in green pastures. We see so many people fleeing their home countries in search of green pastures. Open our hearts for the needs of the poor and displaced and help us to practice the holy habit of hospitality, being your hands on earth and helping people to lie down in green pastures. He leads us beside quiet waters. Lord, help us to protect our waters so that our children's children will still find peace beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. Lord, we pray that despite conflicts and hostilities, natural disasters, environmental destruction and the impact of the current pandemic, we will remain positive and hopeful.
He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. Lord, help us to choose the right path, both in a literal sense, when we consider building new infrastructure, as well as in a metaphorical sense, when we make choices for our future. Help us to make wise choices. Even though I walk through the darkest valley. Lord, the darkest valley takes so many different forms. Loss of job and opportunities. Living in fear because of conflict. Illness or loss of loved ones. We lift up people we know. Especially our sovereign and pray that they will all be able to say I will fear no evil for you are with me your rod and your staff they comfort me you prepare a table before me in the sight of my enemies Father we lift up people who struggle to make ends meet and care for their loved ones. Help us to see how we can be your hands on earth, how we can help others in their need. You anoint my head with oil. Lord, you chose us. You loved us so much that you died for us on the cross. Help us to share your love with others. My cup overflows. Lord, help us to focus on what we have rather than what we want. Help us to be aware of your blessings. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. I'm very excited to hand over to Fern for our second song.